To create an assembly with the gears parts, click New, select Assembly. Click Cancel from the Insert Component Property Manager. Click View Origins. Check the Design Library. Click Create. Browse to your Gears Education Systems folder. Click on the Gears Education Systems folder to display the components that have already been created. I want to create the linkage assembly, which begins with an air cylinder. Click and drag the air cylinder assembly from the Design Library into the Graphics window. There are multiple configurations for the air cylinder. I'm going to use the default configuration and click OK. Click X to stop Insert Components. Click View Uncheck Origins. The next component I will create from the Design Library is the axle created in the Gears Eds directory. Click and drag the axle into the Graphics window. Click the X from Insert Component. Click Mate. Select the cylindrical face of the axle. Select the cylindrical face of the rod clevis hole. Click Concentric by default and check the green check mark. Next, I want to create a coincident mate between two planes. Expand the air cylinder, click front, expand the axle, click front, click coincident. The next component I will insert is the flat bar. Select the three hole flat bar from the configuration, click the cylindrical face of the hole, click the cylindrical face of the axle. Concentric is selected by default, click the green check mark. Notice how the flat bar remains concentric to the axle, but requires another coincident mate between the back face of the flat bar and the front face of the rod clevis. Click OK. These two faces are coincident. Click OK from the Mate Property Manager. Click and drag the shaft collar into the graphics window. Click the red X. Click the cylindrical face of the axle Click the cylindrical face of the inside hole of the shaft collar. Click the green check mark to create a concentric mate. Create a coincident mate between the back face of the shaft collar and the front face of the flat bar. Click and drag another flat bar into the graphics window. Click the red X. Click the cylindrical face of Click the cylindrical face of the flat bar, click the cylindrical face of the axle, click the green check mark, click the flat front face of the flat bar, click the back face of the rod clevis, and select coincident. Notice how the two flat bars move independently. Create the, click the two narrow faces to create a parallel mate. Now the two flat bars move together. Click and drag the shaft collar into the graphics window. Click the inside hole. Hold the control key down and click the axle. Click mate. Click the green check mark. You can select faces on the components first and then select mate. Or you can select mate and then select the component faces or edges. It does not matter the order in which you mate. Display an isometric view. Notice how the two flat bars rotate. Right click on the air cylinder, click Component Properties, check Flexible, and check the Solve as Flexible box. Now the air cylinder is free to move in and out, and the two flat bars will rotate. Click Save. Create a component pattern. Click Insert Component Pattern, select Feature Driven Pattern, expand the Feature Manager, and select the linear pattern of holes for the three hole flat bar. The axle propagates to the three holes. Select the two shaft collars from the graphics window to also propagate the shaft collars. Remove the second instance as the instance is a skip. 